Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another van life session. Uh, haven't filmed anything all week. I haven't really felt like it. Been eating some, uh, been doing, well, doing a lot of microdosing and eating some mushrooms and stuff like that. So, um, I just haven't, I just been actually chilling all week after work, uh, watching videos and stuff like that. Listening to a lot of music this week. I was like, I'll film a video today. Nah, nah, nah. But, um, I stopped by the smoke shop today, picked something up. I was like, okay, so I'm gonna, uh, do a review on um, these, the loose leaf strawberry dream right here, huh? So, shh, got it rolled up there. So I figured we'll do the review on this tonight and um, check it out, see what it's like. Um, once again, loose leaf, uh, Dusto Dubs, you know? So uh, that's an awful lot of cough syrup. Go check out his stuff there. Um, perfectly cut leaf for a perfect roll every time better than backwoods baby i did a review on the um dark leaf one so that, i said these always are a little too heavy for me this one might not the other one was a dark leaf that's why it might have been too heavy but the backwoods always get to my lungs i could only smoke about half of them and that's it so we'll see how this one is you know probably will still be too strong for me but we'll see Uh, fatty rolled up there. I gotta cut my crackhead nails. Don't mind them, you know. Yeah. I've been wanting to try out the strawberry dream. I said they're just super harsh always, you know. they're not nearly as harsh as the backwoods way better more bang for your buck so we'll uh see how this one is you know i was gonna do a packwoods for you but I'm gonna figure that shit out they give you a little tube this and that the end kept falling out because oh look i got it right here because it just fell before the glass tip i don't use tips I don't use tips or anything when I roll joints, blunts, nothing. Never have. I don't know if I ever will, you know? I know someone before commented on the last video of rolling looser. Still really tight. Pretty tight. So it's still going to keep going out. But... I mean, it tastes good. <coughs> it is harsh on the lungs, though, so I'm not going to smoke the whole thing. So I don't know why. My lungs really can't take these too much. <coughs> I like them. I smoke Dutches all day long. I smoke 15 Dutches in a day. You know, 15 blunts wrapped in Dutches a day. No problem, man. But these, nah. But I could do like the um font leaves, right? The font leaves or the um the grab leaves or something like that they're called. I could do those. Those are a little less harsh than usually the backwood types. But some good shit. Maybe I could have put a little bit more weed in there. I got like two and a half grams in here. Two and a half, three grams. You know, so well, um, see what happens. Well, I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get high, but yeah, you know, first initial couple hits were harsher than the hits now. There, I said, yeah, mainly all week up to chilling, um, listen to a lot of music. Finally got into Aesop Rocky. Um, I've listened to him through um, Aesop Ferg and Aesop Mob a little bit. But I've been getting more into them now and stuff like that. So I've been listening to a lot of them, watching their videos and stuff. Because their videos are pretty trippy. It's 
that's all I've been doing all week, um, after work, just watching, like, some, some rap along those lines with the weird videos and stuff like that, interesting, man, interesting, I like the stuff, you know, pretty good, pretty good, I've liked Aesop Ferg for years, um, been one of my favorites, you know, because he's weird. I like their styles, their flows, all that, so, um, who else have I been listening to, I don't know, just a lot of them, I've been bumping the new Ouija Mac, um, album for like two weeks, been out, oh, two weeks now, yeah, and I've been banging that album for two weeks, um, man, start to finish, I haven't listened to the intro yet, to be honest with you. I don't do intros. I just go right to uh, Rory Mercury, Hellcat. Um, my favorite songs off that album, though, if I had to rate them. Um, let's see. Well, I can tell you right off the bat, my top three right now at the time would have to be 17 Blunts, Swang 2, or no, 17 Blunts, Replay, and then Swang 2. And then, um, then Roadmaps, um, Ain't No Fun, then, um, Hate Myself, um, then Hellcat, then Worry Mercury, then what is the one, Play Alo, I can't remember a lot of this, Crawl, uh, Bring That Back, uh, did it on purpose. Damn, yeah, I think there's like 17 tracks on there or something like that. So, I mean, that's for sure one to go check out if you haven't yet. I don't know what the name of the album, what's the, what's the name of the album again? Damn. I don't know, but it's Ouija Max's new album. I'll go check that out because that's, that's for sure worth it, We're, worth a listen. I've been, like I said, I've been listening to for two weeks now. That's uh, my go-to album right now. So, yeah. Got some bangers. But, then again, back onto this review. This isn't bad, man. They're really good. Kind of, um... I said, I'm not too much into the flavors, even though I always smoke the Dutch Berry Fusion, but, um, that doesn't, I, I don't know, I don't really get much of a berry flavor from that, so, uh, yeah, so I don't really, uh, I got, I got that right here, you know, this isn't about this right now, but that's my, one of my go-tos right there, but I don't really get a berry flavor, I guess I would say, I wouldn't guess it was berry, it kind of just tastes good with any weed so I just like it because it's white and stuff like that but it went out but yeah this actually isn't that bad you know and I did wipe it off with the paper towel before I had to well uh water paper towel you know I got the paper towel right here now you can see a little discoloration on the paper towel I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this light there's just a little this coloration, yeah, you can't really see it in this light, but there's a, just very, very little bit, you know, there wasn't much on here, like there are on the backwoods, the backwoods this shit would have been brown brown, but this is like a light, turned like a light, I can't really even tell, really, you know, like, it looks like you just might have wet it and wiped your hands on it, and your hands weren't really that dirty, so yeah, so. I was surprised. I thought a lot more would come off of there. So they aren't really uh, that bad. Well, at least not this specific leaf. Maybe other leaves are bad. But this one, not so much. Drinking some uh, Dutch Brothers coffee right now. And I guess this is made with actual coffee this time. I went to one and um, it didn't have coffee. They only had like espresso, Americano based iced stuff or 
because this is iced. Well, it was iced, but all the ice melted. Is at work today. Busy day, so someone bought us lunch. So I got the rest of my pizza I'm about to eat. And um, someone bought coffee for us. One of the clients bought coffee for us, stuff like that. We're, we're usually closed on the weekends, but we went into work. Had a special event going on, so. I guess you kind of call it an event. Maybe. But, um, yeah, so I went in and um, banged out a bunch of stuff. And someone bought us coffee. And they bought a couple. I already drank one. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's coffee. Not, a, like, espresso-based, you know? Because people say at this Dutch Brothers here, where I'm at, they have coffee. But the other one that I went to doesn't. So I said, okay, that's cool. I didn't think they had coffee, you know? But this is good, though. Really, uh, really good coffee. Can't go there again. But there, then again, that isn't on that. Maybe I'll do a whole nother review on that. You know, I'll actually go there and get something. But these loose leaves, man. Strawberry Dream, worth a try. Like I said, any of them worth a try. I think there's only four right now. The Honey Leaf, the um, or it's like Honey Bourbon maybe. Um, the Russian Leaf, the Russian Cream, um. The Dark Leaf and the Strawberry Dream. This is the second one I've had. I've had the Dark Leaf. The Dark Leaf was a lot heavier than this one. But yeah, this one isn't that bad, you know? And I smoked a blunt before this. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoned. I was going to uh, eat one of my psilocybin gummies tonight. But I've been eating them for a couple weeks straight. So I said, I'll just take a break tonight, you know? So I didn't eat one tonight. Kind of let the mind rest a little tonight. Then... I'll eat some more tomorrow, you know. I almost didn't even smoke tonight. I was like, I don't know if you like smoking tonight, man. But, like, I was blunt. I was like, ah, then I'll film this video because I went to the smoke shop and picked these up. So I was like, I'll just film it tonight. Maybe I'll film a video tomorrow because I have off tomorrow. So, who knows? Who knows? It's supposed to make. Uh, some pizza with a buddy. We usually go out for some pizza. Let's, oh, let's make some pizza, man. So, yeah, because we, we, we go drive out a ways away, and gas is over five bucks here right now. I know, like, a couple days ago, the cheapest spot in town was, like, five twenty nine a gallon for regular. So, we aren't really uh, going to go there, because it's, it's, like, a 40-minute drive, too, and then you got about a pizza and stuff. So, we're like, huh. the pizza, we, we, go, we usually go on Sundays. And the, the best pizza place here in town is closed on Sundays. So. And that's where I got the pizza tonight. Because the guys are originally from New York. I think they're from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. Or the Bronx. And they're firefighters. So they opened up a place out here. Denapolis Firehouse. Bomb, man. Bomb pizza. It's my go-to pizza out here in town. I go to Oro Grande. And go to uh, Cross-Eyed Cow. Cross-eyed cow pizza is really good. They they have a weird seasoning on the crust that makes it uh, one of almost like the the best crusts I've ever had on a pizza is probably from there because it's just so different. You know, they put some weird seasoning on it and it's good. And then I had their um, buffalo chicken pizza, but instead of like ranch on it, I was like, you guys could mix it with the pizza sauce mix the pizza sauce with hot sauce and then put the cheese and then buffalo chicken on top and they're like yeah we'll do that for you and the one girl is actually like oh man that sounds really good i'm gonna try that but she tried it she said it was amazing and it was so they'll even do that because i don't like that's how um i worked out at a uh, lake welch when i was young back in new york in high school and stuff in the summers good old lake welch days man fun times fun times but we got a pizza maker, and we made pizzas. And we didn't sell the buffalo chicken, but we had chicken wings. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm just going to make buffalo chicken pizza. So I always made it. And I always mix a pizza sauce with the hot sauce. I fried some wings, cut the meat off the wings, dipped the uh, hot sauce the wings, put the wings on top of the cheese, ran it through once. Because we had a pizza like conveyor belt that we ran it through. So, Because this was like just a concession stand. But this pizza was bomb, though. 
so I ran it through the conveyor belt once and then after it came through once and the cheese was kind of melted and stuff like that then I drizzled some hot sauce on there and then put some more cheese on the top you know ran it through for a second time oh, shit, bomb man I think about that pizza quite often and the one deli I worked at in New York too um, I would make this quesadilla, a chicken and cheese quesadilla, but I'd mix hot sauce, I'd make the uh, bu the chicken buffalo chicken, and I'd grill up pepperoni, and I would kind of crisp the pepperoni, and then put the pepperoni on the quesadilla, buffalo chicken pepperoni quesadilla is bomb, you have to try that, at, you know, make it at home or something like that, but yeah, the shit was good. But I think it was different there because they, they we like seasoned the chicken a certain way and everything. And there were chicken breasts, you know. Um, like they had like the quesadilla chicken, but I used the chicken breasts that we used for like the sandwiches. In this deli, the Holland Falls Market, they used to have a bunch of crazy sandwiches, man. Like the outlaw sandwiches and stuff like that. Go look up their menu and you'll see like their old menu. Like the owner sold it to a new place. He has a new deli. I, for, I don't know the name of it. But um yeah i loved that place man i worked that place for a while you know i was one of the that that kind of like shaped me almost working there and working at barnstormer barbecue in new york you're ever in holland falls new york for montgomery new york uh where the west point military academy is orange county new york orange county choppers all that barnstormer barbecue 10 out of 10 hands down it's not because i've worked there it's because they just have the best barbecue everything's done there sauces homemade um, everything smoked there, the rubs are homemade, everything done there, you know, Jeff's the man there, he's a, he's a genius there with all that stuff, so, I love that place and always will, you know, but New York's got a lot of good, good food, um, out here where I'm at, they got a lot of good Mexican food, you know, and like, uh, like carts and stuff like that, but it's hard to like, um, like for, re as far as restaurants go, they're all like mediocre, you know, better off going to Jack in the Box or something like that. Like there's a bar usually right near Walmart. So when I'm parked at Walmart, sometimes I go get a burger from there because their burgers are good or their pork sandwiches are pretty good. Speaking of which, I haven't had one in a while. Maybe I get one tomorrow or something. But yeah, their stuff's pretty good. So sometimes I go there. It's reasonably priced and everything like that. But then again, there's Napoli's too, which Napoli's I give 10 out of 10. The pit stops, I guess I'll give the pit stop 10 out of 10 too, you know. <coughs> so there's some good eating. If I want Mexican food, I go to Lola's, get my burritos and quesadillas and whatnot like that, you know. Just some simple shit. Nothing too crazy. I've had their peppered steak. I love peppered steak, so I've had that before. Um, their enchiladas before were good. Yeah, so yeah, so, but then again, then I'll just cook some shit in the van, like I got my pot, I'll just cook some soup a lot, or um, eat like a tuna fish, you know, because if you're first time viewing in, I live in a van full time, um, I've lived in a van for over a year now, and I love it, man, I work full time, so yeah, right now I'm just kicking it, saving up money and stuff like that, I had some issues with the van, so I finally, I, I think everything's pretty much all situated, knock on wood. I'm not on real wood today, you know. But yeah, so I'll I just um I'm gonna do some more work to it though, and um yeah, eventually I'm just gonna go travel again like that because I've traveled back and forth cross country a couple times. I've backpack cross country and everything like that. So and that was fun, you know. I I like doing that. I like living out of the van and stuff like that. Um, I find just because it it's expensive to rent places and stuff like that. I don't make much doing what I do. Like I make like. Oh, not too much. I make decent money, I guess, you know, but not enough like to rent a place out just by myself, you know, like a thousand dollars for a place and then insurance, phone bill and stuff like that, gas, food. I wouldn't be able to afford to eat for the month, you know, so I'd have to go get another job. I don't want to work fucking 60, 70 hours a week because then I'm not even home to enjoy my place and enjoy, do, enjoy time to do anything. I'd rather live out of a van, work. I kind of just leave whenever I want, you know, but I, I, I like my job and everything, so I'll stick it through, you know, at least for a little bit longer, but I'll always, um, I want to eventually do the summers in, Ca or summers in New York, winters in California, you know, or something along those lines, maybe winters in Florida or something like that, you know, because I was thinking about getting an RV, but 
I think I'm just gonna keep my van, maybe drop a new engine in it, and just redo everything, you know, eventually. Not just slowly but surely. It's only got, it's almost got 135,000 miles on it. It's a 30 year old van, it's not bad. You know, it's got a, the engine strong and everything like that. The engine's good. It's got a couple oil leaks here and there. Just because it's old, don't leak all the time, though. But, um, yeah. You know, it runs good. So, now it does. It had major, uh, the transmissions had a lot of issues. So. I'll end up eventually putting a new engine, new transmission in it. Um, I'm going to re, I might resituate the inside how it is. Because I have the bed going, <laughs> And I have a dresser right here and stuff like that. And I just might uh, redo it. I don't know, though, because the bed's really wide. It's just not long. It's like, it's almost as wide as it is long, to be honest with you. Like, if I had it going this way right now, it would probably take up all this space. So, it's comfy as shit, though. You know, I sleep good in it. So, but anyway, yeah, I'm probably not going to finish all this right now. Like I said, save it or something like that. But the loose leaf, I like them, man. This one is a lot less harsh than um, kind of like slapped back and stuff like that. It's kicking it. Um, but yeah, I like them a lot better than backwards, like I said. Anytime I want to smoke something along the lines of this, I'll get a loose leaf before I'll get a backwood any day, you know? Sorry, backwoods. I know you guys are classic OGs, but so you also buy a pack of these, you're getting five to roll up. You buy a pack of backwoods, you might get two good ones. You're lucky if you get three or four. Can't use them all, though, you know? Most of them are pretty wonky. They're bad leaves. And you got to you got the tobacco there and stuff. No. Nope. I said these are nice. So I don't know if I showed you on the last one. That it's um it's uh what is it? It's just a leaf, man. Just a leaf. Man or girl or woman. Man or woman. It's just a uh, leaf. That's it. It's a beautiful thing, you know? Right, no tobacco or nothing like that. See, here's another one. You know, it comes with five. They're not bad. All the veins are pretty good in them, you know. I kind of like where the veins are because I use that end to roll with. And it kind of helps, like, stabilize it and stuff like that when you have the weed along the vein. I don't know. Maybe it don't. I just think it does. But, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a good one, man. You know, I'll definitely try out the other flavors from them. I don't know about the honey, because I don't like any honey wraps. So. The honey wraps always taste nasty, no matter what company it's from. I don't know what it is. just don't like it. So, I think I'm going to say, loosen it up a bit. Yeah, but I'll give these, um, I'll give them a four and a half out of five, you know, I would five out of five, but like I said, just, you know, um, hmm. You know what? Yeah. This one. I give a five out of five. The um, strawberry dream loose leaf, you know, definitely worth a try, worth a shot. Um, pick them up, man. Pick them up at your local smoke shop. If you can't, I like I said I'm trying to get a link to the uh, smoke shop I go to. I gotta ask them if they got a link they could send me or something because I couldn't find one. We're of age. They'll ship them to you wherever you're at in the country if you're of age, you know. Ship you the loose leaf. So, um, yeah, good stuff, man. They're on to something there. Hopefully, they release like some more flavors. They probably will eventually, you know. 
because <clears throat> I asked him on the smoke shop, I said, how are people liking these? They say, like the one guy was like, yo, this guy used to come in and buy boxes of backwoods all the time. Buys boxes of loose leaves now. That's all he buys, boxes of them now. A lot of people are switching over to these. Times are changing, you know? Times are changing. They got to, though, you know? Because sick of backwoods, man. Like I said, you don't get your money's worth. Like, at least make them cheaper. Because you know you're not going to get five good ones out of there. Like these, you might get one bad one. But it's a buck fifty for two of them. So if you get one good cigar out of there for a, blunt, a buck fifty, really isn't that bad. At least to get one good one. It's rare that you get two bad ones out of there. You know? So, but yeah, like the fact would you get more bad than good usually. But anyway, that's been the, uh, has been the, uh, van life sessions. So if you haven't watched, thanks for tuning in. If you watched before, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Drop a like, drop a comment. If you try them out, let me know what you think. You know, I said I prefer these over backwoods any day. That's just my opinion, though. Um, I'd still rather roll with Dutchies any day, though, you know. These are just nice every now and again. I'll sit there. These are nice, like, um, let it go out. I let them go out. You know, because I, I get super high off of these. Like, I guess the leaf might make you higher or something, too. This The type of leaf from the tobacco in it. And, um, I don't know, man. But, yeah, I always feel like I get higher off of these. Well, there's more weed in there, too, of course, than a regular blunt. But still, um. <clears throat> I always, maybe that's why I roll them tight, because I just, like, toke, I'll toke on these for a couple hours, you know, whereas a blunt, a Dutch, I'll sit there and smoke in one sitting, you know, so these are nice for, like, when I like to draw, because I like to toke a bit, let it go out, draw some, you know, so that's nice to be able to do, but anyway, yeah, like I said, I'll give these Strawberry Dream Loose Leaps a five out of five, um, they're good. They're not too harsh on my lungs. I could finish the whole thing, and my lungs aren't all that that bothered, you know. So, um, definitely worth it, man. Try them out if you haven't already. If you have, like I said, let me know what you think. Again, thanks for watching the Van Life Sessions, the Loose Leaf Strawberry Dream Review. You know, <sighs> try them out. I know I'm just repeating myself, so I'm about to get out of here. But, and I'm about to eat some good pizza too. That's what I'm about to do. It's cold. I ain't got a microwave or nothing. No way to really heat it up. I guess I could kind of put it on the little burner thing I have. But I ain't going to do that. I'm just going to eat it cold because it's okay cold. Pepperoni pizza. And um, drop a like. Leave a comment. Let, us say, let me know what you think. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. All that good stuff. You know, yada, yada, yada. I upload weekly. Um, I try to upload multiple times a week. Do a bunch of different things. I'm going to start expanding out a little bit more. I said, I'm still, still going to uh, get a computer and everything like that. I just haven't really been on it too much. So, um, yeah, and like I said, spread the positive vibes, give people a chance, you know, you never know what's out there, you know, you never know who's out there, follow the signs the universe gives you and stuff like that, you know, yeah, just stay up, you know, stay blessed and stuff like that, you know, every day is a blessing. So, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching Van Life Sessions, peace.